Mike takes you down <coughs> to a place by the centrifuges. It's your first day in the lab, and you don't know what a centrifuge is. And it hands you precious flasks, then you drop them, and they shatter. And you look at him quite meekly, but he says it doesn't matter. They were only the controls. <laughs> And he gives you of his buffers, and he gives you of his trains, and you wish you had his genome, <laughs> or at least you had his brains. I came to him one morning, an idea I had been forming. My transformers weren't transforming, and my swarmers were not swarming. I said, Mike, I'm a failure. I'm going to work at Happy Burgers. I think I'm quitting science, but he says, now don't be hasty. You see, science, like the cafeteria, sometimes nasty, sometimes tasty. <laughs> and he soothes you so discreetly, and you trust in him completely, and your mind, it has been freed, and you know that somewhere something will succeed. Now Mike is packing his papers in a folder. There's a knapsack on his shoulder. His pipette is in its holder. And as he leaves the floor, the shakers all stop shaking. The columns all run dry, and the odd plate stops baking. It'll never be the same. And you know that you must keep him. Or at least that you must clone him And you know that you will miss him And you know that you will phone him all the time <laughs> Mike takes you down